Hello, everyone. For YE after party for how to get away with murder. Sorry for the delay in um, the recap this week, but real life kind of got in the way. But I've caught up on the episode, and oh my goodness, it is crazy. I swear the show gets crazier and crazier every single episode, and I just I feel like I can't keep up sometimes. But that is awesome, and that's a a testament to the amazing writing staff that they have. Um, gotta say, I really, really loved the little twist at the end um, that um, in regards to the uh, Lila murder. Um, if you haven't read the recap yet, I suggest stop watching this video because this is completely spoiler zone going on right now. Um, Annalise taking on Rebecca's case as opposed to taking off the star quarterback's case was, wow, um, a crazy decision for her to make, but I kind of see why she did it. However, Rebecca kind of screwed everybody by confessing to the damn murder. Like, who does that? And given that Wes is going out of his way to try to help her, like, honestly, if I were Wes, I'd be like, bye, Rebecca. I don't care what happens to you anymore. Um... I'm done trying to help you, but he's a better person than I am. And I just, I, I'm dying to see how Annalise turns this around because it kind of looks like she's screwed right now because of the action that Rebecca took as far as um, confessing to the crime. And then another interesting development that happened is um, Annalise's married hot um, copper boyfriend lied to her. Like... He found out that the sketchy husband wasn't where he said he was going to be. So where the hell was he, honestly? But what got me is that he lied to Annalise and told her, hey, his alibi checked out when it didn't. So wonder why he did that. That's kind of crazy. Um, another fun thing that happened. Um, we got some interesting backstory or um, different plot fodder from Michaela, her boyfriend turned out to be on the down low, or he said he was experimenting, but I just really, really loved how Connor was just like egging her on saying, hey, um, I remember that I slept with a hot, bunch of hot guys, but I don't remember what his penis looks like. Oh wait, I'm just kidding. I did. So, um, just Michaela's reaction to that whole scene was priceless. I really, really enjoyed that, but I gotta say, I have a lot of questions. Um, I'm wondering how they even got to the point in the flash forwards, why the cop lied to Annalise, and where was the husband? Like seriously, where was the husband? And why did Rebecca confess? Like, that's kind of crazy. Um, I want to say that, I'm going to claim it right now, I don't think the students murdered the husband. I think they're covering it up for someone. Um, be kind of cool if it was like Bonnie who killed them or something you know something crazy like that but I guess only time will tell on that one um but I don't know about you guys I'm gonna keep watching because the show is incredible and um there's so many questions and it's just I need some answers and I hope we get some so that's all I have for you this week sorry it's short and sweet but anyway bye all right, so I lied about signing off. There was one thing I did want to address about the episode. The case of the week thing was kind of a little bit boring. Like, I was trying to get invested in it, but there was just, there wasn't enough background story about how Paula Murphy got to where she was as far as becoming bomb mom instead of soccer mom. So I thought it was a little bit boring. So hopefully next week's case of the week is a little bit better, but I'd be okay if they did away with the whole case of the week scenario for a couple episodes just so that we can get more action as far as what's going on with the Lila murder and with the flash forwards because there's still a lot of things that are unanswered for us. But anyway, that's all. Bye now and I will see you in about two weeks as I will not be recapping for next week because I am going away. So until then, bye everyone.